Public economics or economics of the public sector is the study of government policy through the lens of economic efficiency and equity. At its most basic level, public economics provides a framework for thinking about whether or not the government should participate in economic markets and to what extent it should do so. In order to do this, microeconomic theory is utilized to assess whether the private market is likely to provide efficient outcomes in the absence of governmental interference. Inherently, this study involves the analysis of government taxation and expenditures. This subject encompasses a host of topics including market failures, externalities, and the creation and implementation of government policy. Public economics builds on the theory of welfare economics and is ultimately used as a tool to improve social welfare. Broad methods and topics include the theory and application of public finance, analysis and design of public policy, distributional effects of taxation and government expenditures, analysis of market failure and government failure, emphasis is on analytical and scientific methods and normative ethical analysis, as distinguished from ideology. Examples of topics covered are tax incidence, optimal taxation, and the theory of public goods. Topic. Subject range The Journal of Economic Literature classification codes are one way categorizing the range of economic subjects. Their, Public Economics, one of 19 primary classifications, has eight categories. They are listed below with gel code links to corresponding available article preview links of the new Palgrave Dictionary of Economics Online 2008 and with similar footnote links for each respective subcategory if available. Gel H all public economics Gel H0 general Gel H1 structure and scope of government Gel H2 taxation subsidies and revenue Gel H3 Fiscal Policies and Behavior of Economic Agents Gel H4 Publicly Provided Goods Gel H5 National Government Expenditures and Related Policies Gel H6 National Budget, Deficit, and Debt Gel H7 State and Local Government, Intergovernmental Relations Gel H8 Miscellaneous Issues Taxation Topic. Diamond Murley's Efficiency Theorem In 1971, Peter A. Diamond and James A. Murley's published a seminal paper which showed that even when lump sum taxation is not available, production efficiency is still desirable. This finding is known as the Diamond Murley's Efficiency Theorem, and it is widely credited with having modernized Ramsey's analysis by considering the problem of income distribution with the problem of raising revenue. Joseph E. Stiglitz and Partha Dasgupta have criticized this theorem as not being robust on the grounds that production efficiency will not necessarily be desirable if certain tax instruments cannot be used. Pagalvian taxes. One of the achievements for which the great English economist A.C. Pigo is known, was his work on the divergences between marginal private costs and marginal social costs externalities. In his book, The Economics of Welfare 1932, Pigo describes how these divergences come about. One person A, in the course of rendering some service, for which payment is made, to a second person B, incidentally also renders services or disservices to other persons not producers of like services, of such a sort that payment cannot be extracted from the benefited parties or compensation enforced on behalf of the injured parties P. 183. In particular, Pigo is known for his advocacy of what are known as corrective taxes, or Pigauvian taxes. It is plain that divergences between private and social net product of the kinds we have so far been considering cannot, like divergences due to tenancy laws, be mitigated by a modification of the contractual relation between any two contracting parties, because the divergence arises out of a service or disservice to persons other than the contracting parties. It is, however, possible for the state, if it so chooses, to remove the divergence in any field by extraordinary encouragements or extraordinary restraints upon investments in that field. 
The most obvious forms which these encouragements and restraints may assume are, of course, those of bounties and taxes p. 192. .Externalities arise when consumption by individuals or production by firms affect the utility or production function of other individuals or firms. Positive externalities are education, public health and others while examples of negative externalities are air pollution, noise pollution, non-vaccination and more. The government can intervene in the market, using an emission tax for example to create a more efficient outcome. This Pigauvian tax is the optimal policy prescription for any aggregate, negative externality. Pigo describes as positive externalities, examples such as resources invested in private parks that improve the surrounding air, and scientific research from which discoveries of high practical utility often grow. Alternatively, he describes negative externalities, such as the factory that destroys a great part of the amenities of neighboring sites. In 1960, the economist Ronald H. Coase proposed an alternative scheme whereby negative externalities are dealt with through the appropriate assignment of property rights. This result is known as the Coase theorem. <laughs> Public goods Public goods, or collective consumption goods, exhibit two properties, non-rivalry and non-excludability. Something is non-rivaled if one person's consumption of it does not deprive another person, to a point a firework display is non-rivaled, since one person watching a firework display does not prevent another person from doing so. Something is non-excludable if its use cannot be limited to a certain group of people. Again, since one cannot prevent people from viewing a firework display it is non-excludable. Conceptually, another example of public good is the service that is provided by law enforcement organizations, such as sheriffs and police. Typically, cities and towns are served by only one police department, and the police department serves all of the people within its jurisdiction. <laughs> Cost-benefit analysis While the origins of cost-benefit analysis can be traced back to Jules Dupuit's classic article, On the Measurement of the Utility of Public Works, 1844, much of the subsequent scholarly development occurred in the United States and arose from the challenges of water resource development. In 1950, the U.S. Federal Interagency River Basin Committee's Subcommittee on Benefits and Costs published a report entitled, Proposed Practices for Economic Analysis of River Basin Projects also known as the Green Book, which became noteworthy for bringing in the language of welfare economics. In 1958, Otto Eckstein published Water Resource Development, The Economics of Project Evaluation, and Roland McKean published his Efficiency in Government through Systems Analysis, with emphasis on water resources development. The latter book is also considered a classic in the field of operations research. In subsequent years, several other important works appeared. Jack Herschleifer, James Dehaven, and Jerome W. Milliman published a volume entitled Water Supply, Economics, Technology, and Policy, 1960, and a group of Harvard scholars, including Robert Dorfman, Stephen Marglin, and others, published Design of Water Resource Systems New Techniques for Relating Economic Objectives, Engineering Analysis, and Governmental Planning. 1962. Topic see also topic Notes topic References Atkinson, Anthony B., and Joseph E. Stiglitz, 1980. Lectures in Public Economics, McGraw-Hill Auerbach, Alan J., and Martin S. Feldstein, ed. Handbook of Public Economics. Elsevier.1985, v. 1. Description and Preview. 1987, v. 2. Description. 2002. v. 3. Description. 2007. v. 4. Description, Barr, Nicholas, 2004. Economics of the Welfare State, 4th ed., Oxford University Press. Buchanan, James M., 1967-1987. Public Finance in Democratic Process, Fiscal Institutions and Individual Choice, UNC Press. Description, Scrollable Preview, and Back Cover. Blank, and Musgrave, Richard A., 1999. Public Finance and Public Choice, Two Contrasting Visions of the State. MIT Press. Description and scrollable preview links. Coase, Ronald. The Problem of Social Cost Journal of Law and Economics Vol. 3 October 1960 1-44 Diamond, Peter A. and James A. Murleys. Optimal Taxation and Public Production I. Production Efficiency. The American Economic Review Vol. 
61 number 1 March 1971 8 to 27 diamond Peter A and James A Murleys Optimal Taxation and Public Production 2 Tax Rules The American Economic Review Volume 61 number 3 June 1971 261 to 278 Dres Jacques H 1995 40 Years of Public Economics, A Personal Perspective, Journal of Economic Perspectives, 9 2, pp. 111-130. Dupuy, Jules. On the Measurement of the Utility of Public Works in Readings in Welfare Economics, ed. Kenneth J. Arrow and Tiber Sytovsky Haveman, Robert 1976. The Economics of the Public Sector. Combe, Serge Christoph, 1987. Public Economics. The New Palgrave, A Dictionary of Economics, v. 3, pp. 1047-55. Feldstein, Martin S., and Robert P. Inman, ed. 1977. The Economics of Public Services. Palgrave Macmillan. Musgrave, Richard A., 1959. The Theory of Public Finance, A Study in Public Economy, McGraw-Hill, First Page Reviews of J.M. Buchanan, 1, and C.S. Shoup, 2. Blank, and Alan T. Peacock, ed., 1958, 1994. Classics in the Theory of Public Finance, Palgrave Macmillan. Description and Contents. Lafont, Jean-Jacques, 1988. Fundamentals of Public Economics, MIT Press. Description. Miles, Gareth D., 1995. Public Economics, Cambridge. Description and scroll to chapter preview links. Oates, Wallace E., 1972. Fiscal Federalism, Harcourt Brace Jovanovich, Inc. Pigo, A.C. Divergences between marginal social net product and marginal private net product. In the Economics of Welfare, A.C. Pigo, 1932. Ramsey, Frank P. A Contribution to the Theory of Taxation. In Classics in the Theory of Public Finance, ed. R.A. Musgrave and A.T. Peacock, 1958. Stigler, George J. and Paul A. Samuelson, 1963. A Dialogue on the Proper Economic Role of the State. Selected Papers, No. 7. Chicago, University of Chicago Graduate School of Business. Sterrett, David A., 1988. Foundations of Public Economics, Cambridge. Description. Scroll to chapter preview links. Stiglitz, Joseph E., 1994. Rethinking the Economic Role of the State, Publicly Provided Private Goods Unpublished Blank, 1998. The Role of Government in the Contemporary World. In Vito Tanzi and K. Young Chu, Income Distribution and High Quality Growth, pp. 211-54 Blank, 2000. Economics of the Public Sector, 3rd ed., Norton. Tinbergen, Jan, 1958. On the Theory of Economic Policy. Topic. Further reading Arrow, Kenneth J. Social Choice and Individual Values, 1970 Atkinson, Anthony B. On the Measurement of Inequality. Journal of Economic Theory 2 1970 Auerbach, Alan J. and Lawrence J. Kotlikoff. Dynamic Fiscal Policy, 1987 Boito, Marcel. On the Management of Public Monopolies Subject to Budgetary Constraints. Journal of Economic Theory 3-1971-219-240. Corlett, W. J. and D. C. Haig. Complementarity and the Excess Burden of Taxation. The Review of Economic Studies Vol. 21 No. 1 1953-1954 Dalton, Hugh. The Measurement of Inequality of Incomes. The Economics Journal Vol. 30, No. 119 September 1920, 348-361 Edgeworth, F. Y. The Pure Theory of Taxation. The Economic Journal Vol. 7 No. 25 March 1897, 46-74 Feldstein, Martin. Social Security, Induced Retirement, and Aggregate Capital Accumulation. The Journal of Political Economy Vol. 82 No. 5 Sep. October 1974 905-926 Fisher, Irving. Income in Theory and Income Taxation in Practice. Econometrica Vol. 
5 number 1 January 1937 1 to 55 Fisher Irving The Double Taxation of Savings The American Economic Review Volume 29 number 1 March 1939 16 to 33 Ginny Corrado Variability and Mutability in Memory di Metodologica Statistica, ed. E. Pizzetti and T. Salvmini 1955. Harberger, Arnold. The Incidence of the Corporation Income Tax. The Journal of Political Economy Vol. 70 No. 3 June 1962 215-245 Lindahl, Eric. Just Taxation, a Positive Solution. In Classics in the Theory of Public Finance, ed. R. A. Musgrave and A. T. Peacock 1958 6. Lorenz, M. O. Methods of Measuring the Concentration of Wealth. American Statistical Association Vol. 9 No. 70 June 1905, 209-219 Musgrave, Richard A. A Multiple Theory of Budget Determination. 1957 7. Niskanen, William A. The Peculiar Economics of Bureaucracy. The American Economic Review Vol. 58, No. 2 May 1968, 293-305-8 Niskanen, William A. Bureaucracy and Representative Government, 2007 Orshansky, Molly. Children of the Poor. Social Security Bulletin Vol. 26 No. 7 July 1963 Orshansky, Molly. Counting the Poor, Another Look at the Poverty Profile. Social Security Bulletin Vol. 28 No. 1 January 1965 Samuelson, Paul. The Pure Theory of Public Expenditure. Review of Economics and Statistics, 36 387-89 Tybout, Charles M. A Pure Theory of Local Expenditure. The Journal of Political Economy Vol. 64, No. 5 October 1956, 416-424-10 Wicksell, Canute. A New Principle of Just Taxation. In Classics in the Theory of Public Finance, ed. R. A. Musgrave and A. T. Peacock 1958 Topic. External links Journal of Public Economics NBER Papers in Public Economics